if somebody asks you a question three times, that's a pretty good, a pretty good indication that you have an answer people are looking for, right? Yeah. And so what is it that you get asked all the time? Or what is it that comes easy to you that other people are like, oh my goodness, I could never do that? Oftentimes I think moms are like, I don't know what my gift is. I don't know what my passions are. I, and especially I think when our kids are really young, we feel like all of us is going into our kids. All of us is going into preparing meals and grocery shopping and doctor's appointments and changing diapers and trying to get our kids to learn how to read. And sometimes moms can get a little bit lost in that and figure out, trying to figure out what is it that I want to do? What is it that God created me for? In addition to this, obviously he created you to take care of your family, but how can um, moms, especially those who are looking to work outside of motherhood um, and bring in some extra income, how can they really figure out what God has created them for? I think it's a cross, Yvette, between what you enjoy and um, what you're what you're good at, as well as what people ask of you, right? Because as a mom of littles um, who are starting to, to go to school, we got asked all the time, where are they going to school? Yeah. Well, we're home educating. How are you doing that? What does that mean? What does that look like? How would I do that? You know, and so if somebody asks you a question three times, that's a pretty good a pretty good indication that you have an answer people are looking for, right? And so what is it that you get asked all the time? Or what is it that comes easy to you that other people are like, oh my goodness, I could never do that, right? That's a really good indication that there's a, a skill there that is sellable um, or that there is a, a talent there to be developed. And so, um, but I also think it has to light you up. Um, I am not happier than when I am teaching or, or talking or presenting, um, it, I love to see the light bulb come on, whether I'm talking to a four-year-old or a 45-year-old, right? Yeah. Like it just thrills my heart to see someone get something so that they can take it out and put it into practice. I love the conversations with our teenagers around the, the lunch table, you know, where we're throwing out questions and they're, the, the things are clicking and they're finally like, oh, wow, that's what that means, you know? And so that for us, it was a natural crossover between what we enjoyed, the questions we were already answering on a regular basis with our friends and acquaintances, and where we saw a need. And it didn't happen overnight, you know, and I am one of those people that like, there's no grass growing under my feet, you know, like, <laughs> if I'm going to do it, I'm it's going to be done. And um, it was it was an exercise in patience, you know, but I think one of the things that we have to recognize about about timing, even with God's provision, with God's leading, with God's developing desires for, of our hearts, is that, you know, patience really is the act of agreeing with God about the timing of this situation, right? I can't yeah. stop and get frustrated with a slow child if I'm agreeing with God about the timing in which this child needs to do something, right? I can't get frustrated at slow service when I'm out and about if I'm agreeing with God about the timing he has for this circumstance. And then secondly is, is asking God, what is my purpose in this circumstance? Mm -hmm. Right. And always saying like, what's my job here in this conversation in this day? Yes. Service is slow. What does this person need from me as we wait? Right. Or yes, this child is not responding or not, I'm not producing or not um, growing as quickly, but what's my job right now? What am I, what do they need from me in this moment? And, and taking our eyes off of the me and putting it on what God is doing um, helps us to have that patience that we need uh, and the persistence to be able to see it through with a much more calm attitude because now it's about God, it's not about me. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 